Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? So we are going to have quite um, an interesting one today. Solving Solutions just um, acquired this piece of land. Actually we did, although we did not. And then it's um, about how many hectares, is it 42 or so? And um, we are trying to register it with um, the Lands and Survey Department of maybe the Ministry or wherever the case is, right? Good. And we need to label the distances, the bearings, and then, you know, impute the pillar numbers and, you know, the point styles, which will now indicate or which will now show the beacon, right? Good. So as you can see, this is an SS001, SS002, until we got to the last of them, um, which is um, SS150. So how do you do this? Do you type them one after the other, or you can actually automate the tax? So in today's video, we are going to show you how you can automate this, your is it pillar labeling, I don't know, I was trying to come up with a name, how you can um, automate your pillar labeling, and then also um, automate what the the point style right good so that's what you're going to see on today's video so we are going to undo what we have done and then we are going to start from the beginning so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are returning you are thanks for always them um, checking up on us all right so um we can start by plotting the coordinates so these are the coordinates we've actually sorted them just them um, control c then um, we come down to the polyline right good then we paste all the coordinates there so we can see that our shape has been plotted so to close it we just use the command cl right good so the polygon is closed let's um, change the color to something um, like red good that's the first thing the next thing is that we want to label them according to maybe the pillar numbers that have been given to us from the ministry, right? Good. So are we going to start by saying maybe SS01, SS02, SS03 down to the last SS? You know, that would take quite some time and then you might even make maybe a mistake or so, right? Good. So how do we go about it? We now came up with um, this particular um, script. You know, you are actually familiar with the script if you have been plotting spot heights for your topo work or whatever the case is, right? Good. So now what this um, script will do is that it is actually a script that will help you type the pillar numbers automatically by locating their coordinates. So how do we come about this same um, script? If you have been on the channel, you would have seen that video. So we sorted it out on Excel. Good. So this is the Excel format. Underscore text, easting, nodding, the text height, the rotation angle, then the label. Right. Good. Now, the text height and the rotation angle, you can actually change them to whatever your choice is. You can decide to use five, um, is it five meters. Right. Good. That's your text height. Then your rotation angle can be anything from zero to maybe 360 or so. Right. Good. So you can maybe make your own choice. But the format is what underscore text, easting, northern, the text height, rotation angle, and then the description. So what we did was that we actually control shift um, the right navigation button, then control shift down. This enables us to um, select or let's see highlight right with then control C. That will now make us to copy. Then we came down to notepad which has been very, very useful. So let's um, try to create a new one. That's Ctrl N, right? Good. And then we pasted this. So how do we sort it? We want it to be as underscore text, space, Eastern, comma, northern, space, um, the text height, space, rotation angle, space, the label, right? Good. So for us to do that, we just have to do it on the video. However, there's a video where we've actually done it. So you copy this um, underscore text up to this space. Now, this space here is not the space that is needed for the script. It's actually bigger or let's say it's longer. 
So we come down to find and replace command on a notepad. Yeah, it's actually on other word processing and packages. So find and replace. We are trying to find what we have copied and then we are going to replace it with something else. So I had to paste the two, um, the paste what I've copied on the two fields that um, find what and replace with right good. Now you can see that that first space we have on the one we copied and the space here, sorry, that shouldn't be there. And the space here, they are not the same. You can see we have a space here that is very short. And then we have one space here that is actually very long, right? Good. So when we click on replace all, it replaces that longer space with what the shorter one, right? Good. Same thing with the eastern command node. Now we've seen that all our nodding coordinates are starting with five. So if we copy from this five down to the beginning of the space, that's um, control C. We come down here, then we paste what we've copied. We do the same thing here, I light and then paste what we've copied. Remember that what we want before our nothing coordinate is a comma, right? Good. So we now replace that space with a comma, then we replace all. So you can now see that our underscore test space is in comma, nothing has been fixed, right? Good. Now we need to fix these other spaces that are in between the, the text height, the rotation angle, and then the label. So we select or I light from this space to that space as you can see on your screen then we come down to this field again we paste it there we also come down to this field and then we paste it there remember the space we have is longer so we delete that and use the shorter space we come down to this other space delete use the shorter one that's um, by using your space bar on the keyboard right good we delete this and then we use the shorter one so we are going to replace what we've copied with we are going to replace what we've typed with them um, what we've copied right good so just then um, replace all so we have our script like this so this script is actually what you've seen somewhere around um, i think we have to save it again what you've seen earlier right good so for us to use it we are going to save it as what a script file so that um, we can run it on autocad so file and then save as Good, so we are working on a folder called them um, pillar labeling. So let's say this is sss.scr. Now that is the file format because it's a script file, right? Good, sss.scr. So we just click on save. So upon formatting our text like this, we can now come back to AutoCAD and then run that script. So for us to run that script, we type what scr as a command and enter. Good, so we can now select the script file that we have saved earlier. So um, we can use either of them because they are actually the same. But let's um, use the one we saved on the video. So we select that um, script file and then we click on open. Good, I think we are done. So when you zoom in, you can see those pillar, is it the pillar numbers, right? Good. So with these um, pillar numbers on your plan, you can just make uh, one or two modifications and you are good to go compared to you typing them one after the other but this is not the end remember we told you that um, we are still going to have um, the pillar description sorry the pillar icon or let's say the pillar symbol which is in um, the point style right good so for us to achieve that we need to select or let's say confirm the coordinate so um, let's try to assess that coordinate list Good, so we have um, the coordinates of each of those points that um, we have used to plot, right? As we've shown you earlier. So we can just um, highlight and then copy. Let's come down to format, then go to point style. Now, under the um, point style settings, remember by default you are supposed to have the same um, dot. However, we need something that um, looks like a pillar or maybe something that looks like a pillar right good so we either choose this or choose this. maybe whatever you want to choose but then um, let's work with this and another thing that we want to pay attention to or want you to pay attention to is the point size and these two options now when you see a um, set size relative to screen you would have a point size or you would have points that would not be fitted to the scale right good of your drawing 
so it's best you use what the size that um, are in absolute units that will now be fitted to your scale i think we've worked on a video that we've actually um, exhaustively explained how the both of them yeah how each of them works right Good. so maybe we'll leave a link to that video on the description section of this particular video so we are using set size in absolute unit and then let's leave it at five wouldn't five be too big let's just make it three and see we just want the the picon sign to be there right good so we click on okay so it has been set so we now select what point now when we select points instead of just typing the points one after the other we can just paste those um, coordinates that we have copied so upon pasting those coordinates we will now see those beacons being plotted as you can see on your screen right good so when all of them have been plotted just um, escape and then when you zoom in you would see those icon or you would see those icon yeah you will see the icon on the points that they have been plotted so with this and um, we believe that you can automatically plot as many maybe pillar numbers and also maybe plot the pillars or maybe whatever you want to call it the beacon or the pillars or whatever the case or the pegs and then also give them their names and you know if the orientation or the placement is not good or okay by you you just have to make a little modification to it maybe if the angle at which it is inclined is not very good you can just adjust it or maybe move it out of the line but i believe it's faster and then it's better compared to maybe starting from the scratch and then typing each of them manually so the essence of this video is to show you how you can label your your pillars and then also have your pillar icon on your plans when you have i think let's see how many coordinates we have here we have about um, let's see control down we have about 150 coordinates so that means we have about 250 points so imagine you type in the the pillar numbers of 150 points you know or maybe trying to click all of those you know it might actually take your time and you um, you are prone to making some errors so with this you can actually automate it you know remember the script that we have used um underscore text space eastern comma northern i think we should just open that script at once good so we have what um, underscore text space eastern comma northern space your text height space the rotation angle space what the id which in this case is what the pillar numbers right good so you can have something different from this but when you type those pillar numbers and then you put them on this script format and you run it as a script you would find out that they will be plotted on those points and you can also do that for your pillars and then it will save quite a lot of your time which you would have used to plot them manually and if you would make any modification the modifications would not be much so thanks for coming to class. We hope um, we've provided solution to this particular solving problem. We are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.